So it's Tuesday noon. We headed to somewhere. Kirksville, Missouri to pick up our load that's going to somewhere in Georgia. <laughs> like 116 so we supposed to be there we'll get there about two we supposed to be there four we just hoping to get load us early because we running on recap i think we only got 10 hours for the day so i'm gonna need them to load me quick and get me out of there because the whole trip it's like probably from there 700 something miles so i need all the hours i can get to keep moving so we'll see y'all okay we coming down here show less amount that's got to be probably the place we're going to over there y'all can see over there that white building i think so because we less than a mile so it's gotta be over there and we gotta make a right turn, turn here right at the traffic light. okay traffic i'm turning right. i'm turning just wait just wait just wait <laughs> which is this is b road b road missouri b road which is this dist industrial boulevard yeah 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 so this is, yeah, I think this is it. Craft. Turn right. I bet you this is where I'm going to the craft place. And they told me something else. They just said Kirkman Mo BW. It's gotta be the craft place. It's gotta be the cheese, cheese craft place. No semis right there. That's it. It's craft. Y'all see right there? Craft Heinz. Why don't the company just put craft on it? I mean, it wasn't the company actually with the broker. Why didn't they just put craft on it? Oh my God! So it makes it easy. Turn right on West. They're just Park. always trying to make stuff hard. If y'all look to the left, when I used to do flat bay, I used to haul these things all the time right here. I used to love hauling these things. They'd be light, and they'd be most of the time I get the empty ones. Uh, the empty ones right here, I used to haul them not in a reefer unit, but in the flat bay. And you just throw a chain in the middle, running across. That's it. And you get about five or six, eight of them, and uh, you know, run. I had some one time that had the wiring on it, but most of the time it's the empty ones like these sitting out here hauling these. So I don't know where you're supposed to check in at. Let's go down further. Can't go in there because they got that gate lock right there. Yeah, y'all, I'm coming. I'm coming to get my load. Turn right, then take the so I think we can right turn in here. This gate right here, check in security. So I'm probably going to have to let y'all, I'm going to have to let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it right here. We're going to swing on in here. Swing wide, BKM. Swing wide. You got a big truck with a big trailer. Anyway, we're going to swing in here, y'all. We're going to check in because we don't want them to let us know that we're filming. So we'll get back with y'all. Man, this camera. Anyway, they got us loaded. We're going to go ahead and pull on up. We can close our doors, they say. Oh, I forgot we got that truck behind there so we got to go get that out the way and then I got to move my wheel that's a truck but I ain't the only thing I got that close maybe they still got me connected 
Oh, no, they don't. Uh, slide this out of the way. We've been here for a minute, and that makes my unit go down. That's why I don't like when you stay here for a minute. Let's see what we have. 47 degrees is what I see. So we're going to ease on up. Hopefully, we have enough. Why is this thing still holding? Make the air still building up. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Maybe we ain't got enough. Maybe we don't have enough air. It's like the her truck is still holding. So we're going to get our air up to 100 and something. Might not be enough air. They probably got it low, so it's going on heavy. All right, we're at 110. Put in the air. This thing should break loose now. I never had that problem. And if it still is, it's something connected. I don't know what the heck is going on. I ain't got no, I ain't got no stock on the other side. At least I hope not. Maybe the trail is down up on that. I don't know what it is. I ain't trying to tell them nothing either. Well, let's try it again. That's kind of weird though. All right, there we go. I think we was, I thought we was, I think we was hung up on the thing. I think that's what it was. <laughs> I think the trailer was still down. <laughs> I think the trailer was still down and it wouldn't let it come off that top part. Maybe. Maybe like the top part of that edge right there. But it looked like the wheels was up. I don't know, but it's probably what hung on that. Oh, uh, yeah, we might have to put some load locks on this. I have no idea what that is. I think it's hot dogs, Oscar Mayer. Let's see in a minute when we get up here. Put some load locks on this bad boy. Salami and bologna. That's what it is. That's what it is. Check a load of bologna, salami, and everything else. Uh, we're gonna just use two low locks, one on the top, and one on the bottom, and we will be good. Lock these back in. And that should be good right there. See, I put the name up here, Road Nice, in the trailer. So I ain't no problem. Somebody stealing my load lock say, oh, that's my load lock. Nah, buddy. We got our name on it. Uh, get this in here. Get it off that rail. And we get one more up here. The top. The top. And we should be good. There we go. There we go. We'll pull the pins slide my tanners back and I have to weigh the load. Ooh, my hand got caught in there. Why is this thing so hard? The trailer ain't even or something. That's what I think it is. Slide the tanners back. 
Cause maybe the trailer get even. I can't even close the door. There's always something wrong with these trucks. Always, always something. And we, and we are going to Union, Union City. Uh, I don't know this thing's still recording. Yeah, we're going to Union City. Uh, Union City, Georgia. Let's see, can we get this thing to go back? Man, they don't want to even go back there. Well, let me pull up. They need the pin is stuck. All right, let's try it now. There we go. That one don't really have no that much problem out of my slide my wheel. All right, we at the back. Man, I think they got this loaded heavy. I'm gonna go ease up a little bit. Maybe that's it right there, cause I feel that there's a lot of weight on here. I feel it. All right, we're gonna slide one more hole. We're gonna let him go with this machine. I think he put empty carts in there. And I think we, up enough, I think we still one slot. Still think we need to come back a little more. We only one hole. I'm gonna go up a little more. Get some of the weight off the back. Maybe when I, I don't think that trailer pumped all the way up. But so they got a lot of weight. It looks like on my front. Like a lot of weight. Alright, we're gonna stop right there. And that's where we're gonna let it ride. That might be too much. We're gonna put that back in. Pull this out, put that in, and try to close this door. The trailer still might be sitting down, that's popped up here. But we one, two, three, we in the fourth hole. I think we need a hole about right there where I'm looking at my air gauge. Maybe get this door closed. Man, I don't know what's going on with this door. I had to get it. Oh, it's probably leaning over that way. So I'm going to have to go in here, y'all. Let me go get my paperwork and I'll come back. Maybe we can twist the trailer over this way. It's leaning over that way. I see what the problem is. driving all day today trying to get to hit the Atlanta traffic later on let's keep continue heading on to Georgia so we'll see y'all <laughs>
is nighttime. I'm riding. It's Thursday morning. We got 190, 191 more miles to get over here to Union City, uh, Georgia. And then from there, I'm pretty sure I'm heading home because they're not going to have nothing short to go from there to Alabama. I know it. So anyway, y'all, we'll see y'all when we get to Union City, Georgia. Actually, we'll see y'all when we get to the Atlanta traffic because it is three o'clock here four o'clock in atlanta so i'm an hour behind because i'm still so y'all y'all can see y'all can see we in atlanta traffic a lot a lot of atlanta traffic i did get unloaded oh my god be quiet we did get unloaded over there at the craft place now we gotta pick up another load another load to a short load pick up here in atlanta that's going to uh oxford alabama so i'll deliver that in the morning so if they load me early enough, I leave and get out of this land of traffic. I'm sitting here all day. I'll wait till the night and leave. So then we'll start that filming. So either way, if you're new to the channel, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that like button, and all the buttons you want to hit on there. <laughs> and uh, that way y'all can get good content when I do it like this. So if you're new to the channel, like I said, make sure you hit all the buttons, all the above buttons. And that's my GPS talking, trying to tell me to get in the right lane. But I got two miles. Anyway, y'all know what it is. Stain life, truck life, and 18 wheel life. Oh my God, about to had enough of this Atlanta traffic. We'll see ya. We out of here. All right, so we pulling up in craft. I guess this is it right here. Did we turn in? See, I don't know. Trucks go in here. No truck, say no truck entry. See, they said DH, and that's craft that I'm going to. And they didn't put craft on here. They said Atlanta Marketplace on here. So, you know, that kind of like throw people off. Express just jumped in front of me. Anyway, it's all right. Well, we in here. Let me put in here this place for TQL. Hello. All right, we in here, y'all. Let's check in and we'll get back with y'all. Apparently, U.S. Express is holding up the line. I think, if I'm correct, their seal is not matching the paperwork. So now, they holding up all these trucks back here. Y'all can see in my rear view mirror. Maybe y'all can see it. There's about five trucks and they still just... That's why you always check your seal to make sure it match your paperwork. They probably went ahead and didn't check their seal to match their paperwork. Y'all make sure when you get that seal, you check that paperwork and match that seal with that paperwork that, that um, when they come out and seal it. I always do that. Even if they come seal it, I make sure the paperwork matches the seal. And that's their problem. I know what the problem is. That seal, because the lady came and looked at it and he took the paperwork and walked back there and looked at the seal and it probably didn't match. So now we got a problem. Now they holding me up. Been sitting here about 20 minutes. She need to pull him out of the way and let us come on in. We got to check in. We got 8 o'clock appointments. It's 8, 8.15. This is crazy. So anyway, y'all, we'll get back with y'all when we finally get in there. So y'all can see them guys still sitting there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if they're going to get them out of here anyway. Anyway, they gave us door 174. It's like Walmart. You got to... I'm not trying to look for my camera. I just had it. Get some back shots. Well, anyway, they got it where uh, it's like Walmart. You go disconnect from your trail and everything. Put this out here and start getting some views. But they, oh, my God. Don't tell me it's wrong. I don't know. That thing to turn. Anyway, we get some shots. Trying to get some back trailer shots, back and in shots. That's my brother-in-law call. Always call me. I call him back in a minute. I got to get in the door. That's more important. But 
So I don't know where the uh one man, we gotta go way down. It started with 101 right there, so all we all the way down at the end, I think. I don't know that the camera looked like it's off, but I don't know. That's the camera. That's my setup, y'all. Y'all can see. So when I get the trailer turning and all that, and some back footage, some side footage, hopefully I got it set up right. I don't know. I messed with it yesterday to try to angle it right, but I might have it too. Look like I got it too turned out too much, but I might be wrong. I don't know. I see from the footage. If so, I need to turn it this way a little more. So y'all can see me, y'all, you know, so y'all can see me. So 174, man, we way down here, ain't we? 50, 60, it might be around the building, 174. And this, yeah, we around the corner or something. This 169. It must be around the corner. Here we go, right here. And they have it where you don't open the doors. They open it from the inside, y'all. So if y'all can see, see prime doors not even open. They open it from the inside. You drop, pull up a little bit. There's 174 right there. And then they call you. They call you when they're ready. Now this, I got it made right here because it's a straight pull straight up for it and kind of back up. I can't see Prime's trailer back there and then I could kind of line up my door. So, not bad, not bad, not bad. But they had trailers here that I would have to try to jack it around. a little more I forgot they made you they make you slide your tandems before, <laughs> before you get back here make sure we're going in the right door 174 yeah I'm trying to straighten up oh my god I'm way off I gotta slide over some more might have to thought I could have gleamed it red right on well I don't know I might get it I'm good like that line up uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to twist this around, get it back straighter, a little more. Okay, I'm trying to line up them yellow lines, but it's hard when you got your uh, when you got your wheel slide all the way back. Okay, there's the line right there. Get it over in the middle, cause you want to get it in that middle. You got to be in between them lines perfect on them lines okay we should be good right there there we go yeah we did in the middle there we go. oh that that means you're back there but you want to make sure you got it and we got to drop our trailer so let's go out here and drop this trailer and then we'll move up Yeah, I was dancing on that mic. That camera mic caught, <laughs> caught me dancing. <laughs> the other one up there. It was showing the side. All right, so let's pull this. Then we gotta go ahead and play with the air thing to drop this thing down because <sighs> they didn't never get this thing fixed where it dropped completely down so I gotta look at my gauge right here cut this blink off and play with it to let down the air 
start going down. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get a hook from this, y'all, and we'll get back with you when we get up.